Good morning, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So I just dropped my boy off at school, and I was listening to uh, Steve Van Meter on the way back, his latest video. Uh, he said something very interesting in there that I didn't really know about, and it makes a lot of sense right now, considering where the interest rates on like the long year, long long term bonds are are headed. Um, very interesting times. People, I mean, I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is that's taken place here. And after I watched that video, and just to kind of let you guys know, I haven't really been watching a whole lot of YouTube videos out there. I've been really trying to form my own opinions. And you, when you watch like the same guys over and over again, not that they don't put out great information because Steve puts out some, some awesome stuff, especially when it comes to the bond market. It's incredible how much he knows about it. Um, You know, those guys put out awesome information, but when... When I have a tendency, and I don't know if you guys are like this, but I have a tendency, like when I listen to the same people over and over and over again, like just consistently listen to everything that they have to say, I have a tendency to start listening or start sounding like what I'm listening to. So I try to read a broad amount of stuff to really kind of form my own opinions, and I have not been listening to a whole lot of YouTube videos out there or a lot of YouTubers out there. And... uh like I said, the latest video that uh, Steve had put out was excellent. And there was something in there that he had said that had really just kind of triggered something for me right before I started this video because I was listening to it just before I started this. And uh, what he said was is that there's like pretty much computer algorithms that are kicking in. So as the prices start to drop, then those computer algorithms are kicking in saying, hey, we need to sell. You know, they got like the stop loss, you know, uh, orders in there. Which basically says what starts triggering sales. So as you know, this the price starts to come down, then more sales start kicking in, triggering more and more and more of these sales. Now, something that I found interesting inside of that video that he was talking about is that as investors go to move into short positioning of the bonds. Now, this is something that I didn't know about, and I should probably listen to the video again so I could really understand what he was saying. But from what I understand, when they move into this position of, of a short position in bonds, what you are essentially doing is you're going to somebody who owns the bond already and saying, hey, let me borrow that bond for a little bit. I'm going to go sell it on the market. And when the price drops even more, I'm going to buy it back and give it to you. And I'm going to keep the difference in between. That's essentially what shorting the market is in the most simplest of terms. But what he is saying is when that happens, when the investor goes to the bondholder or to the to the short position or try to buy that short position, it's not like you can go to this any bondholder, but when you go to buy that short position, what that is, what it's actually doing is is taking the bond and duplicating it and making another copy of it and then taking advantage of the of the position of the move. Now, I'm not gonna get into the technicalities of how that works because I'm not even sure how that all works, but what he is saying is that when the short position takes place, it actually makes two bonds on the market which would make a lot of sense to the supply issue and then the you know and then the rate of moves. So if I got that video right and I'm going to leave a link down in the description. I'd love for you guys to to go and review it and then and, and let me know what you guys think about it. But if I got it right, the more people short, the more bonds are created to go onto the market which adds to the supply, which creates more of an issue when it comes to the interest rate yields rising on the bonds. See, as the supply starts to go in and the demand starts to shrink, you get more supply, prices come down, the yields go up. So as more people enter the short position, the more supply to the bonds, and and so goes like the problem. Does, does that make sense? I mean, I, that's at least from what I was gathering out of Steve's video. That's what I that's what I was gathering from it. Now, something what I thought, and he had a lot to say inside of that video. But one thing he didn't bring up, and I and I maybe he has in other videos, but he didn't talk about the gen, the Treasury General account at the Federal Reserve and the one trillion dollars of liquidity that's going to be entering into the system. I didn't hear him mention that once in that video, and I think that's really important to add to the equation because that's going to be putting a lot of pressure on the availability of bonds. But if it's in a short position that's adding to the supply, it may end up neutralizing. So if I, if I understand, I know this is really complicated guys, and I'm sorry, I hope you're following, but if I got it right, the treasury general account is sitting on a one and a half trillion dollar liquidity cash pile. Okay. They want to take that down to about 500 billion, which means there's going to be $1 trillion coming into the system. 
The way they do that is they write checks. So like as the treasury is paying its bills, it's just drawing from all this cash that it already has sitting in the account, which means it doesn't need to issue out as many treasuries. At the same time, as these bonds start to drop in price, people are shorting them, which is adding to the supply, if I'm understanding Steve Van Meter's video correctly. So this is like kind of leads me to believe that if the interest rates continue to rise on account of the supply issue that is growing, then the treasury really doesn't have to worry about adding to the supply of bonds to keep that system functioning because it's already being duplicated with the short position <laughs> and <laughs> and they can continue to pay their bills drawing down on this one trillion dollars they already have at the cat as cash so it's not going to like really affect the government's business they already have the cash to do it and as far as supplying the markets out there with all the bonds that you know are in demand the short position is creating that and also the interest rates are beginning to rise on account of this, you know, of the, of the sale that has taken place, the selling. Which is going to correct or hopefully correct the irrational exuberance that has taken place inside of the real estate market, inside of the stock market. And now, you know, obviously the bond market is starting to turn. Anyway. I hope that video was not too confusing, but I was listening to Steve's video on the, before I parked the car and that was what was running through my head. So anyway, uneducated economist, you guys let me know.